In the last 20 years technology has developed extremely fast, and that development has brought a lot of good things with it, such as helping develop cures against rare diseases and lots of other stuff. For example, artificial intelligence or AI for short. AI is already everywhere. It's in the YouTube algorithm and probably recommended this video to you. It's directly on your phone and recommends words to you while you are chatting with your friends. There are two types of AIs. Strong AIs and weak AIs. While weak AI focuses on automating specific tasks, Strong AI is capable of learning and thinking like humans do. And a lot of people find that pretty scary. And maybe that fear isn't so unjustified. Sean Ekins is the head of Collaborations Pharmaceuticals, a privately owned company that performs research and development on innovative therapeutics for multiple rare and infectious diseases. The way they do that is actually pretty interesting and unique. He uses AIs to discover and come up with thousands, even millions of molecules that might interact with specific biological targets. Basically his AI which is called Megasyn by the way looks through all of the drugs, and all of the medications that were created before in public databases, to find one which will then hopefully help. But what happens if the AI doesn't find a matching recipe? Well, that's what makes Megasyn so special. It can create drugs. Drugs are basically made up of molecules, and molecules that work as drugs have a certain molecular weight range, and knowing that, they input information about chemistry, molecular engineering, and of course the disease they want to cure into Megasyn. And within hours it gives them never before seen molecules. And then the only thing Sean needs to do after this is look through the molecules and decide which one will help them. And that worked very well for a while until one day the AI generated 40,000 extremely pozionous combinations. And immediately, you know, I realized, oh my goodness, it really did design VX type analogs and molecules that look like chemical weapons. VX is an extremely toxic chemical, which was developed for military use and can kill you in minutes. And that's exactly what is AI created different chemical weapons made by an artificial intelligence which was meant to help with the research against rare diseases. But how did this happen? In 2020 collaborations pharmaceuticals, Sean's company Dot received an unusual request. The private Raleigh, North Carolina, firm was asked to make a presentation at an international conference on chemical and biological weapons. The talk dealt with how artificial intelligence software, typically used to develop drugs for treating, say, Pitt Hopkins syndrome or Chagas disease, might be sidetracked for more nefarious purposes. In responding to the invitation, Sean Ekins, Collaboration's chief executive, began to brainstorm with Fabio Urbina, a senior scientist at the company. It did not take long for them to come up with an idea. What if, instead of using animal toxicology data to avoid dangerous side effects for a drug, Collaborations put its AI-based Megasyn software to work generating a compendium of toxic molecules that were similar to VX, a notorious nerve agent. The team ran Megasyn overnight and came up with 40,000 substances, including not only VX, but other known chemical weapons, as well as many completely new potentially toxic substances. All it took was a bit of programming, open source data, a 2015 Mac computer, and less than six hours of machine time. It just felt a little surreal Urbina says, remarking on how the software's output was similar to the company's commercial drug development process. It wasn't any different from something we had done before use these generative models to generate hopeful new drugs. And of course this was very scary to a lot of people. So although the AI didn't 100% make the chemical weapons it is still very scary. That it can create thousands of different toxic chemicals within hours or even minutes. And the thing that is even scarier is that everyone could theoretically do this. What do you think about this? Let me know down below in the comments.